Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So today my group will present language processing. So under this topic, we're going to separate into five subtopics, which is cognitive theory, cognitive constructivism, social constructivism, behaviorist theory, and technology acceptance model. As for my part, I'm going to explain about cognitive theory. So this theory is developed by John Page. He stated that our cognitive change over time and it have four stages. The first stage that is known as sensory motor start as the baby was born till they are two years old. At this stage, the baby can absorb sound long before they can imitate this. It is vital for us to speak slowly and say proper words instead of the baby thoughts such as Google Gaga. The second stage which start at the age of 2 up to 7 years old are known as pre-operational stage. At this stage, language acquisition is at its best. It is when symbolic parts start taking place. Thus, we should make this infant read stories and listen to their non-stop chatter to encourage their language learning. The third stage which is known as concrete operation start at the age of 7 up to 12 years old. At this stage, they can comprehend new concepts, understand abstract ideas and adjust their understanding. Thus, it is important for us to make them read longer texts and make them write seriously. The last stage which is known as formal operation start at the age of 12 up till death. So at this stage, we start to develop our vocabulary and our first language fluency. The acquisition of second language will become tougher and unnatural at this stage. We're continuing on with the behaviorist theory. The behaviorist theory, which is a psychological theory, was founded by J.B. Watts and is supported by other theories. The major principle of the theory rests on the analysis of human behavior in observable stimulus response interaction and the association between them. It believes that infants learn oral language from other human role models through practice, imitation, and reward. For example, babies obtain native language through babblings which resemble the appropriate words repeated to them. When they are rewarded with affection, it will reinforce further articulations. The baby combines sentences from generalization and from this they often make errors. It is important for them to be corrected. Through a trial and error process, correct utterances should be reinforced with approval while the errors should be inhibited so that the baby will have utterances closer to the speech of the community. Students are active learners. In other words, it is student centered learning. Social constructivism is related to first, scaffolding, where support is provided by others, such as teachers and peers. Next, zone of proximal development, or ZPD, as students are able to perform well with the help and guidance of others. Therefore, Knowledge is constructed through interactive and cooperative efforts of teachers and students together. Example of activity for language learning is, students can be divided into groups for reading comprehension where knowledge transfer can occur between peers, and teacher will act as a facilitator where they will guide students to the correct information. Thus, I got to believe that learning drive rather than follow. Now moving on to Cognitive Constructivism. It is based on Piaget's theory of cognitive development, that is, the knowledge of human beings is constructed through experience but not from the information they are given. The learner is viewed as an active participant in their own knowledge building process and the teacher as a facilitator of that active knowledge building process. From the cognitive constructivist position, knowledge is the result of the accurate internalization and reconstruction of external reality. It is actively constructed by learners. This process is known as learning. Moving on to the applications in language learning. First, learning is not the result of development. Learning is development. Therefore, avoid spoon feeding your students. Let students start questioning what they are learning and coming up with their own answers. Then have them discuss it with the class. Guide them towards the right direction, but let them have enough space to find their way on their own. 
second, this equilibrium facilitates learning. There is no shame in making mistakes if you then learn from them. Teachers should view mistakes as a result of learning. Making mistakes shows that learning is taking place. Therefore, students need to experience this equilibrium before they reach equilibrium. Third, dialogue within a community leads to further thinking. Having group discussions will help students strengthen their understanding of what they have learned. This is because they will need to communicate and defend their ideas to the class. Why do people use technology? Technology is used because they find that technology is useful and easy. For example, letters to email. However, there were still people who refused to use it, although it was very efficient. Why did this happen? That is when technology acceptance model was developed. The external variable will be the inefficiency of normal mailing which takes time. Then, electronic mail was introduced. However, whether they will use it or not, it depends on how the technology is assumed to be useful and easy. Back to the email versus traditional mail. If a person thinks handwriting is easier than typing on a keyboard, he or she might assume that email is not beneficial. Therefore, their attitude towards using the technology will be negative and there will be no behavioral intention to use it. Thus, they do not use it. There is no acceptance towards the technology. In a classroom environment, teachers find out that students get bored easily. Teachers might want to make learning fun by using technology, for example, digital teaching aids, such as video, PowerPoint, and interactive websites. However, the teachers do not know how to do it. According to technology acceptance model, if someone really needs to use the technology, no matter how difficult it is, they will still try their best to learn. Usefulness wins over perceived as easy.